Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Well, what happens when you trust a liar? What happens when you trust people who subscribe to a religion in its radical form that encourages you to lie to people for the good of the radical religion? Idiot. Oh, the president, the mainstream media, because the president and the mainstream media were reporting on this just last week. Well, the Taliban said that they were going to be nice to us. Yeah. Joseph Mingula, he handed out candy before he sent the kids to the gas chamber, you twit. People can say anything. What matters is are you getting the correct views? If you listen to this, you are. Thank you. Hit share, hit subscribe. You have no idea how important that is to me. All right, guys, here is the Taliban keeping their word about uh, allowing people to easily get to... Uh, the airport and to places where they can leave. CNBC, a deadly firefight erupts at Cabal Airport as evacuation chaos continues into the second week. Oh, but there wasn't going to be any chaos, remember? They were going to make sure that everybody got to the airport safely because the Taliban was going to respect the rights of women, oh, you know, within, within Islam. That's like saying you're going to respect the rights of women as you throw them to a bunch of snakes. What, what does it make any damn sense? The U.S. military said Monday that no Americans or NATO coalition forces were injured after a brief firefight broke out at one gate into Cabal's Hamid Karzai International Airport, where troops are assisting with emergency evacuation of Westminster and citizens and at-risk Afghan nationals. Navy Captain William Irvin, a spokesman for U.S. Central Command, the combatant command that oversees American military operations in the region said that the incident, quote, appeared to begin when an unknown hostile actor fired upon Afghan security forces. I thought that wasn't going to happen. Remember? We were going to have to worry about this. That's what happens. That's what happens when you have piss poor leadership that trusts a bunch of terrorists over the intelligence community, which is warning them quite the opposite. The violence comes as the Biden administration grapples with a torrent of criticism over the fallout of its pullouts from a, a troops from Afghanistan. It says that President Joe Biden said Sunday that the U.S. military has evacuated 28,000 people. Yeah, he said that right before running away from any questions. Let me let you know a little secret, friends. And I'm going to get into more of that in the next story. I'm going to maybe just tease it a little bit here, but... Uh, did you realize that one of the reasons, or one of the main reasons, that we could be leaving Afghanistan is because we need our troops for Russia or China. My guess is China. Considering that China has been releasing videos that show them and glamorizing Dropping nuclear weapons on Japan. We covered that. Look up the massive Fukushima update. It's one of the four parts that I posted just a week or so ago. China's been saying that they could take out the United States if we protect Taiwan. They've been making moves about Hong Kong. We know that, of course, they share a border with Afghanistan. No, lithium. The Green New Deal, because man is warming the planet, even though there's no science to support it. We need green technology. All that green technology involves lithium, lithium batteries, lithium in various forms. Guess where that's at? That's in the ground in Afghanistan to the tune of billions of dollars. Still think it's a good idea? Let me tell you what's happening. There's a very, very good chance here that our troops are needed for something that's going to be a lot more horrific. Now, if we had sound leadership, I would say hopefully this is going to be used so that uh, China, uh, for instance, would not dare, dare to breathe because they know that our, our fighting forces aren't tied up in a theater where we're going to lose over with a bunch of barbarians in Afghanistan. However, we don't have good leadership. 
we have nothing that resembles, resembles good leadership. So now we have to ask the bigger question, and that's the scary question. What are we pulling all these troops out for? What is it that's being prepared for? If you've paid any attention at all, you can see that there's a lot of unrest in the world to which the attention of our troops and fighting forces could be spearheaded towards. And there's a very, very good likelihood that this is being allowed to happen because something much worse is on the horizon. Again, those who are more uh, glass half full people might be inclined to say, well, yeah, that's because uh, we want to make sure that it's a deterrent. That is an argument you can make if you have good leadership, not if you have Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. That's a correct view. There is, there is no deviation. That is the correct view. Hit share, hit subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment lines, especially on Opera News. I want a lot of comments on Opera News. I want to know how you guys are liking everything. Good night, friends. God bless.